Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julissa Urban and I'm going to be showing you guys how I styled my hair using the Revlon Hot Air Brush Kit. Okay, so I picked this up at Target. It was $23 and it comes with two um, brush attachments. So it comes with a one and a one and a half thermal styling brush attachment. Okay, and I'm going to start off by blow drying my hair. I, I'm going to make sure that I at least have 80% of my hair dry before I start the process. And this is the oil that I'm using. I'm going to try to add it uh, just to the ends of my hair. And I'm going to comb it through just so that I don't have any knots in there. And then once that is all done, I'm going to start um, blow drying my hair. Okay, so as you can see, I do have a lot of hair and I'm just making sure that all of it is at least 80% dry. And now that I'm all done with that, I'm going to start to section off my hair. And as you can see, I did leave a small section in the bottom because that's what I'm going to be working with. So, okay, so there I split it in half and I'm going to brush it once again just to make sure that it doesn't have any tangles in there. And okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I blow dry it. And then that's how you take off the nozzle on top and the two brushes. I'm going to be using the bigger one first and that's the one inch. So it comes with a little button on the side. And those two, you're just supposed to make sure that they're attached and that they match the bottom part. Okay, so it's going to make a click sound. And once that clicks, uh, that's just how I'm going to be rotating it. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys how I'm placing the brush on my hair. And once I put the brush on my hair, I'm going to be dragging the brush down. And I'm going to be showing you guys uh, when you get towards the end of your hair, you're just going to be rotating the brush and just have the brush keep moving. So you're going to keep rotating it so you get that little um, flip at the end of the, of the end of the hair. As you can see, I'm rotating it up. So as you can see, I'm brushing my hair, I'm dragging it down and towards the end of the hair, I'm going to be rotating it. Okay, so as you can see there, I'm showing you guys the flip at the end. And I want it to be a little bit more of a flip, so I'm going to continue to rotate the end of my hair until I get the flip that I want. Alright, so there you can see that the little wave in the bottom it looks pretty nice. And bouncy so I'm just gonna go on to the next section and do the exact same thing so as you can see I'm constantly uh, rotating the brush I'm grabbing it from both ends and that's what's going to help me control the brush and make sure that I'm doing the right thing by rotating it at all times. Okay, so here I'm starting off with another section and just try to make sure that your sections aren't too big because or else uh, you're not going to be able to wrap your whole hair onto the brush. So once again, I'm rotating the hair at all times towards the end of my hair. So I'm going to place it on my hair, I'm going to drag it down, when I get towards the end, I'm going to be constantly rotating just to make sure that the end of the hair curls.
Okay, so I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing all over my hair. And once I get to the top section, I'm going to be right back to, so to show you guys how I do that. Okay, so now that I'm all done with all my hair, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do the top section. And as you can see, the waves are looking pretty good. And okay, so I'm going to bring my hair to the front because that's how, that's how I like to work with it. That's how I find it easier for me. So once, I'm get, once again, I'm going to be bringing it towards my face and I'm going to be wrapping it. I'm going to bring the hair down. And towards the end, I'm going to be rotating it. Okay, so as you can see, I actually hold the I hold the blow dryer on top of my hair until it cools down and once the wave is cooled down, that's when I remove the blow dryer from my head. I mean just so that it can be a nicer curl when it falls. For the top section, I also use the smallest size um, brush, so I'm no longer using the one that I started off with. Okay, so now I'm going to be um, doing the last piece of my hair and instead of curling it away from my face, I'm going to be um, using the blow dryer and pulling the hair towards my face, so inward. So instead of doing it outward, I'm going to be doing it inward as you can see there. Alright, so after almost two hours, I was finally done with my whole head of hair. And as you can tell by my cheeks, it was pretty hot. Okay, so this is the product that I'm going to be using. I'm going to um, leave a link in the description below just so that you guys can see the product that I'm talking about. And that product is really good with flyaways. So I do have a lot of flyaways and I always use that because it's not a it's a cream, but it's not you know heavy, it's very lightweight. And then I'm going to be using that brush uh, just to make sure that all my little hairs are down. And I'm just fixing my hair and seeing if I like that part or not. Okay, as you can see, I do have a lot of curls in the bottom of my hair in the ends. And that's why we always have to be rotating the brush towards the end of our hair because that's what's going to give us that nice curl.
right as you can see my hair looks pretty nice it looks pretty bouncy and I love how it came out and even though it did take a long time I think it is worth it so I usually only shower my hair uh, about twice a week so I actually left my hair like that and it lasted about two to three days and then after like the third day my hair was already like starting to weigh down but this is the finished result and I'm going to be showing you guys how it looked after a day and then two days later. So I did have to retouch my hair, you know, those two to three days, but it still looked nice. So this is the third day that I had it. And even though it didn't look as full as before, the waves and they were still there. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.